everyone and welcome back to my channel. So do you ever feel frustrated with skincare or you're just looking for the perfect morning skincare routine, something that's easy and simple that you can get through quickly so you can move on with your day? Well, I'm here today to share my easy morning skincare routine for glowing skin with you with quick and simple steps of what to do to get awesome glowing skin with some of the best products available. First off, I'm going to start off with talking a little bit about my own skin today, and that is that I do have combination skin, so that means that sometimes it's oily or dry, or it's both at the same time. It just kind of depends. It's also very sensitive and acne prone, so I went through the ringer with trying to find the perfect products that work with my skin. I'm very um, specific about what is in my products as well. I do not like scented face care things. I just don't feel that fragrance needs to be in skincare. It does usually irritate my skin and break me out clog my pores or irritate my eyes and make them red and itchy. And I do already have allergy issues, so that's something that I'm trying to avoid at all costs. So I'm gonna get into this and we're just gonna move through the step-by-step -step process, starting with what I'm gonna put on my head to keep my hair back. And that is this cute little headband that I get, did get off Amazon. And it does come with these little wrist muffs. And what this does is these actually absorb all the water when you're washing your face instead of having it drip all down your arms and get all over your sink and your floor and make a giant mess. So I highly recommend this. I did get this on Amazon and I will post everything in the description box below with the links of where I got it. And I, this does retail for $7.99 on Amazon. I highly recommend them. I love them. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wash our face. And so my favorite cleanser is the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. I love cleansing gels. I also love foaming cleansers. I am not a fan of creamy cleansers because I do not want to wash my face with lotion. I use moisturizer on my skin or lotion to moisturize, not to wash my face with, and that's just my personal preference. You guys can let me know in the comments below if you feel the same way or if you do like the, um, the creamy cleansers. I'm just not a fan of them. They just don't work for me and I don't feel like they remove my makeup, so I'm just not a fan. It just doesn't work for my skin type. We're gonna start off with me getting my face wet. And this cleanser is a gel cleanser, like I said. It does suds up, and this does retail for $44. I did purchase mine at Ulta, and again, I will have this in the description box below. It is a clear gel cleanser, but it does suds up very nicely. And I do just make sure to wash my face. And get my neck good as well. And now we're gonna go ahead and just rinse this off. It is the morning, so I don't have product on my face or anything that I need to, to remove. So I didn't need to use my makeup remover, which I will be doing a PM skincare routine for you guys as well. I'll show you the products that I use at nighttime. My next step in my skincare routine is what I use to lock in moisture. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna use my towel and I don't fully dry off my face. I wanted to have a little bit of water on it and be a little damp because next I'm going to go in with my Cosmetica Pure Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which I also purchased on Amazon. I've been using this for years. And this is retail for $14.98. And this is their little two fluid ounce bottle. They do have a bigger one. I think it's around 40. And I use about six drops of this. It's just like a clear gel but it's really lightweight and it does absorb very nicely into the skin. And I do just put this all over and the hyaluronic acid does go, go through and it does attach the water molecules and actually pushes them into the skin and lets your skin hold a better moisture ratio throughout the day to keep your skin nice and moisturized. I am trying to do a lot of um, age anti-aging and um, age prevention because I am getting older and I do not want my skin to look dry. Everything settles in my fine lines now, and so I do have to be really, really on top of it with making sure that my skin is nice and moisturized and plump so that my makeup goes on very nicely and smoothly. All right, and then I do just kind of fan my face off a little bit. And then my next product, which is one of my absolute favorite products, if I do say so myself, is my Dermalogica Intensive Moisture Balance Moisturizer. So I, a few years ago, had really bad moisture damage. My skin was breaking out and freaking out, and I didn't know why. I was having a lot of hormonal issues. 
I was using everything under the sun for acne that you could think of. And my moisture barrier just got absolutely destroyed. My skin had like dry patches. It almost looked like I had like eczema or even psoriasis all over my skin. It was horrible. I tried using everything. I tried using Aquaphor. I tried using Vanny cream. I tried using the CeraVe creams. I tried um, different barrier creams. I can't even think of what the other ones were. But every different moisturizer, all kinds of different ones, spent a fortune on them. And finally, I was like, you know what? I love Dermalogica Space Washes. I'm sure their moisturizers are great. This has really good ratings. And even though it retails for $76, I'm literally desperate and I need something to fix my skin because it looks so horrendous. And my wedding was like, I don't know, probably two months away. So I really had to be on top of it and get on top of my skincare and get my skin rebalanced. So I purchased this. And of course, I was not surprised that it worked phenomenally. And within probably two weeks, my moisture barrier was completely replenished. My skin had completely healed. It didn't burn or sting anymore. And I've been using that ever since. And I do have a lot of really bad issues with dry skin, especially in the winter time. And so I'm very happy to announce that this is phenomenal. And I have not stopped using it since I got it. So I've probably purchased it four or five different times. I am just going to go ahead. It's a really nice cream and you know, it works really good, but it's not like super thick, which you would think it is, but it's actually not. And so it's perfect for under makeup, which is why I love it because I am a makeup girly and I do my makeup every day. And so I can't use things underneath my makeup that are going to pill and make my makeup look horrible. So that is why I love this face cream. I do only use this once a day. So this does last me for probably, I don't know, I'd say around five, maybe six months. Just using it once a day and I do use it all over, but this is my number one favorite moisturizer. This is my Holy Grail moisturizer and I cannot live without it. And I would probably say that the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel is my Holy Grail face wash as well. I love Dermalogica. Their products have never let me down. They're formulated by dermatologists for our skin, so they're pH balanced. And they're just absolutely phenomenal. I know they're pricey, but skincare is something that you just cannot go cheap on. There are things that you can get and certain people can use cheap products, but I just cannot. They don't work for my skin, unfortunately. Um, I do. There are a few that I do want to try and I do want to do some videos with more affordable products in them for you guys. So I will go ahead and I will try to start getting some of those products for you later on and do an updated video on some affordable skincare products if you can't afford these because I do understand that we're all on a budget. I do budget beauty into my obvious budget because um, I am a beauty guru and this is kind of my thing. So I do make sure that I have room for that in my budget, but I know a lot of us can't, unfortunately. So I do want to do an updated video with some awesome products that I've been looking into lately of more affordable skincare for you guys. All right. And now the last step of my skincare routine is this amazing sunscreen that I just cannot rave enough about. So when I was younger, I did not use sunscreen. I didn't believe in it. But now that I'm getting older and you can see these little age spots that I have popping up, as well as my fine lines, that I have obviously gotten some signs of photo aging from not using sunscreen when I was younger. So I've wisened up and now that I use tretinoin on and off, I absolutely have no choice but to use sunscreen as it does make your skin way more sensitive to the sun and it can actually cause burning and I don't want any of that to happen and it can also cause photo aging and make me look even older. So I do use sunscreen every day now. I've used numerous different ones and I've used the Neutrogena ones, which I do really like, but my favorite, favorite sunscreen is by a company called Round Lab and it is their Birch Juice Moisturizing Sunscreen. This is an Asian sunscreen and it is my absolute favorite one. This formula is phenomenal. It's very lightweight and you can go ahead and you can wear it under makeup and even over your moisturizer and it will not pill up your makeup or make it look cakey on your face. This is so nice. It doesn't leave a white cast either. And you can purchase this on Amazon for $19.97. I was getting it on Salvada because nobody had it and I actually had to get it like from Korea shipped here and I was paying like $30 for it and it did take $30 or I did pay $30, I'm so sorry, for the bottle of it. So getting it for an extra $10 off and getting it like in two days with Amazon Prime is phenomenal. And again, I will have that posted in the description box below. So this is just a very nice lightweight cream moisturizer, but it is a sunscreen and this also has extra filters in it. You can see it's like 
50 pH plus 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 that means it has a lot of filters in it so it protects your skin from blue light it protects it from UVA and UVB rays and numerous other ones that I can't think of off the top of my head but if you look it up it does go ahead and list them all in the description of the product of what it all will protect your skin from so I do just go ahead and put this in a nice thin layer all over my face and then I also put it on my neck and my chest as well because your chest will be one of the first things to show signs of aging because your skin is so thin here. So I do like to protect this skin as well. And it just feels so nice. It's so lightweight and it just dries really nicely into the skin. It doesn't leave any tackiness or any weird film on my face. And then I can go right ahead and put my makeup primer on and do my makeup afterwards, which just makes me so happy that this doesn't do that to my skin, thankfully. And I just love these products, guys. Please let me know in the comments below if you're looking forward to trying any of these through my recommendations, if you've tried any of them before and what your thoughts were. And just anything that you guys are looking forward to me doing in the future, some video ideas, anything you'd like to see from me, please let me know. I can't wait to chat with you in the comments below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and please share my video as it does help me with the YouTube algorithms. I love you all so much and I thank you so much for your support and I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. If you did like this one, next week's video is going to be on a new makeup palette that I got that I'm really excited to share with you. Thanks guys for watching. Love you. Bye and have a great day.